Hello and welcome from lockdown in the Cotswolds, where I have been. And on behalf of the rest of the team and myself, can I just say how really sad we are this year not to be able to encounter you in the flesh, but virtually like this. Next year, we look forward to making up for it. But I don't want you to think that despite the fact that we've all been here in isolation, we have not been thinking of you, for we have. And we've got a cast of artistic characters or events in the form of our pictures that we're looking forward to parading before you. There is one painting I can show you in the flesh, well, my flesh at least, which is this that's arrived from America with only a couple of weeks to go before the deadline for Masterpiece. And it's this beautiful 18-year-old nurse done by Sir Oswald Burley in 1921. The name of this bedazzling subject is Margaret Barrett and she was a nurse, a military nurse, which is why she's wearing that sort of very specific uniform. The Corps of Nurses was founded in the early 20th century. It was a really close-run thing, us being able to get hold of this in time for Masterpiece. It's been in the family for a hundred years and we had to get it out of America, then cleaned by our conservators. There was a hundred years of grime on the surface and it's pretty well hatched today. And the secret to understanding how it came about can be found in the top left-hand corner because there's an inscription by the artist. It says, to Edward Barrett from Oswald Burley, the artist, December 1921. Margaret's father was a doctor who treated Oswald Burley. In return for the treatment, instead of giving him a bill, he said to the artist, um, OK, I'll take a portrait. Oswald Burley said, I'll paint you. He said, no, I'm too ugly. Try my daughter. And one of the reasons why I am so excited about this painting, why I love Oswald Burley anyway as an artist, is that not only is it a very contemporary face, one of those faces you see in, in early films, but it's also an image that owes so much to 500 years of old master painting. And I can see people like Velasquez with the dramatic sort of juxtaposition of light and dark, Franz Hals, Vermeer, Van Dyck. And what is so lovely is, of course, the subject matter and the pathos won't be lost on you. So we were very keen and it has just happened in this virtual way to bring it before you for Masterpiece. And the fact that she sort of incorporates in what she represents so many years of art history rather helps, rather suitable possibly, for Masterpiece. So as I say, so sad not to see you in person, but in this virtual way. But we very much look forward to seeing you again soon. And in the meantime, our art, I hope, will bridge the gap.